Welcome, hello, welcome to Parenting Differently, where we leave behind the old way of parenting and allow the gifts of parenthood to raise us. Different to how we were raised, different to how society tells us to raise our kids. Maybe you're even parenting different to how you expected, just different. I'm your host, Anya Simmons. Welcome, welcome. I'm an author, a yogi parenting coach, and a speaker. Tip seven. We're in tip seven mm -mm -mm. of how do we parent differently. I really wanted this season five to be about implementing what I've learned from all my guests that are up to all through season one, two, three, and four. I can't believe it. 39 episodes. Um, and where can we start to implement? What can we start to implement that allows us to be on the journey of parenting differently? Okay, so this one, <laughs> see the big picture. That's our topic for today. So let, let's backtrack a little bit. When you think of your future with your children, what are you seeing? What kind of relationship would you like with them? And then we're going to backtrack one step more. What kind of relationship do you have with your own parents, the caregivers, people who were in your life when you were younger? And how much of that do you want also with your children? And how much of that do you not want with your children? When I think about if we can parent with the idea of the big goal, with the idea of what relationship would I want with my children? For my, my side, for me, it was really important. I really wanted that they would want to be with me. They would want to hang out with me. They would want to do things with me. Um, I also really wanted them that they, they would want me included in their life. I would love it that when I phone them, they're not, there's not a big eye roll. <laughs> I'll never know, right? But I, that's what I would like. I would like that they think I'm kind of nice to be around. And if we have those ideas, what would the long term, they're only little for a short amount of time, right? We know that. It's hard to live that, but we know that. My kids right now are 21 and 24. Due to the pandemic, everybody's still living here, right? Moved out, move in, move out, move in. But ultimately, I would, if I'm parenting with the idea that I would love them to want to be in my life, that can change how we parent. Maybe we can lay off on the guilt, on the shame. Maybe they will see that we are trying. They're seeing that we're actually working on our own shit, our own stuff. They will know that we are allowing them to be who they are. We can go back a few episodes, expectations, right? Allowing them to be who they are on their own journey of life, right? So I'm still in the experiment side. I mean, at this point, they, they still enjoy my company, I believe. I still get invited to go to things with them. But the big picture right? I always want to be the soft place to land. I want to be home. Physical building, me, you know. I want to be the place that they can come when things aren't working. And I want to be the place to go where things are working and they want to share something exciting, joyful, interesting in their lives, right? I can only do all of that if I've done the work on myself. If I've done the work to release them needing to fulfill me. If I've done the work, I'm always doing the work. I mean, it's ongoing, right? Each new uh, time in life, each new age and stage is gonna change all those things. But seeing the future relationship really helps me decide and make choices in how I wish to parent now, right? Do you want a long-term relationship with your children? not being codependent, not that kind of stuff, right? <laughs> I think I, that just popped in that that maybe needs to be clear, that they, they feel that they are part of my happiness so they can't fully go into their world and, and be themselves, or that they feel, or I feel they can't cope so I gotta be right in there, <laughs> right? Toxic, toxic, toxic. So when we do our work, 
on figuring out ourselves, our joys, our needs, our wants, right? Um, what is that phrase? I should have thought of this beforehand, this idea of that, you know, they, they really, they come through us, but they're not ours. We don't own our children. I don't know how to change the thing saying my son, right? As if I own him, <laughs> my daughter, she's mine, right? Um, but what would I like? And, you know, the, the guilt and the shame and, and vulnerability, all of these uh, big aspects of parenting, starting with ourselves, opening up. When they see us do hard things, it tells them they can do hard things, right? If they see us be vulnerable and talk about something that was uncomfortable, talk about something that, how our day was, right? They're learning all the way along the lines of that, of how to adult. Ah, adulting is hard, right? And so the tip for this week is, let's picture what would your future with your child feel like for you? What would you like from it? Every day coming home for dinner. No, I don't, that's not my jail, mine. <laughs> but do you want to have that, you know, family gatherings, family get togethers are a place people want to be. And there will be times, you know, if it's on their own journey in their own life, there probably are many, many times that that may not serve them. And can we be okay with that? But keep the lines of communication open, right? I mean, some people, you know, I hear it like they're like, oh, I, I need to speak to them every day and I need to eat. I don't, that would, that's too much for me. Might not be for you. But I feel that I, I do, I still want to know kind of what's going on, right? So there you go. Tip seven of parenting differently. How, what is the future relationship you would like? And let's work backwards. What are you doing now to support that? And what are you doing now that might hinder that? Okay. Remember, you can reach out and book coaching calls with me if that serves you. You can find me over on Instagram, on my website. All links will be below. And uh, comment below. Get some conversation going. <laughs> and, uh, you know, aligning with what serves you best. You'll know your gut, you'll trust your intuition. If this is a tip that you'd like to take into your family. Have a super day.